What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wizard 101. So today we are going to go over my Myths 160 setup and his gear and go over his stats. And yeah, so let's go ahead and show his stats here real quick. Let me quickly equip my balance culture. We do not have a myth culture, otherwise you'll have 1% more damage. But we will go ahead and show his current stats. So his stats is 198 damage, 9,793 health, 468 mana. He has 53 universal resistance. Um, we can up the resistance when we use the better um, defense opals. So we'll have to um, go for those um, and the defensive opals will be a lot better than they are now. Uh, but currently this is what we got uh, we'll sock it more later uh, for the accuracy it's 33 percent accuracy damage would be 199 if we had the myth culture right now we don't have a myth culture so it's at 198 critical rating we are at 731 critical rating which is pretty high for the spirit schools uh, we also got 609 block um i think that block is actually worse than storm right now um I'll have to look later. Uh, 609 block, uh, 51 armor pierce, which is really high for the spirit schools, uh, which is great. 592 pip conversion, 99% power pips. It's a hitting school, so 99% is good. Still 80 shadow pip, 180 arc mastery. You'll see the arc mastery and shadow pip rating be 80 and 180 quite a lot in the 160 gear setups. Um, that we have here. So let's go ahead and show you guys the gear we have. So Of course we got the balance culture 2% um, Need to really need to replace it with the mid culture, but that's gonna be spending a lot of crowns and a lot of RNG Which I'm not too fond of right now. So we're just stuck with the balance culture It's just 1% damage as well. So and then we got the Dragoon's Mythic Charm, just like the other characters. You know, the amulet doesn't have much difference in stats compared to the 160 amulets. You guys can see that in the 160 Max Gear video uh, when we compare them. Um, it's not really much difference. Same thing with the Merciless, not, not much difference. Um, but if you do Jade, um, the amulets can help you if you Jade. Uh, for the Aeon... Ethane, this is the stats for the myth, um, 1,076 damage, 174 mana, 16 power pip, 75 block, got the 23 myth damage, there's also some ice damage on there as well, um, it's got the usual sockets, tiered, double circle, and the triangle socket, we just threw accuracy on there, um, Aeon boots, we don't have anything socketed yet, um, we will probably have something there in the future. But yeah, a lot decent stats, you know, good resistance, pierce, um, crit, damage, great. Um, everything else is also great for the boots. Um, Aeon, cape, very similar, just more health, more block, more resistance. Um, lots of pierce, 10% pierce, or 10 pierce extra, 9% accuracy, 113 crit, and 26 damage. Um, the deck we're using the Aeon deck uh, we could change decks out to the other ones to get different spells but for now I just got the Aeon deck um, that's where we get extra arc mastery rating and more health and crit and for the hats we're using the Aeon helm um, 11 resistance 6 accuracy 7 pierce and a lot of crit 179 and 34 more damage so that's what we have for the Aeon Helm. We could socket the shield and stuff as well to get more resistance. Um, for the Dream Escape Ring, um, we're using this ring for the... It's just a great ring for crit and damage. Also gives more pierce if you add it to the sockets. I forgot to show you guys what these look like here because it was stuck on the culture, but... It, a lot of this stuff is um, already stitched. So here's what the Aeon deck looks like. They look pretty neat. Just some hands holding the deck. Um, but yeah, that's the ring. 
Um, great stats for a ring. Um, for the wand, we have the Dreamscape Aeon Sword. We could suck it, another square socket to add more resistance. But this is what it has. Uh, it gives you extra pierce, crit, and 26 damage, which is great for a myth wand. So that's what we're currently using. For the pets, we have our Quint damage and spellproof pet. Uh, the Mega Snappy Frillosaur uh, from the Fossil's Hunter sets it gives 3 and 6 for, you know, Pain Giver. I forgot what the 3% was called, but yeah. And 6% Myth Giver, 10 Dealer, and, you know, got the 3% extra Myth damage at the bottom as well. And 10% Spell Proof for extra resistance. So. Overall, I'm very happy with this pet. I'm probably going to keep using it. I don't feel the need to make another myth pet at the moment. But this is what we currently have for our pet. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much the equipment. Now, for the deck, we just, you know, have our usual AoE spells in here. Um, I actually don't have any Frenzy equipped, I noticed. Let me quickly add some Frenzies in here. I didn't notice that until now, so <laughs> there we go, add our frenzies. Okay, for the spells, oh, excuse me, I was yawning, okay. Yeah, Handsome Fomori, Ice Wyvern, yeah, we not using those. Um, for the wand hits, 180 Super Revile, uh, currently not using it. For, and then we get a Cyclops that can hit one person, get it. If you hit them with it, it gives um, plus 50% more damage. Um, trap. And I'm not sure what the second part does. If hit. <laughs> I'm not sure what it means by that. I guess if you hit a minion, it puts a 50%. I'm not sure. Um, but and we got the usual Baskets from our Dragoon Amulet AoE. And then we get a Storm Shark. For the Aeon deck. Yeah. <laughs> Just a random Storm Shark. Which is okay. Could be better. Um, we usually use Spear Blades for RTCs. Let me go ahead and add those in here. So, yeah, usually use that. You can exchange the deck and some of the gear, again, at Luis over there, the crafting guy, to change your gear out, especially the decks. Um, I might actually get a second Aeon for Myth, um, just so we can, you know, exchange that with a different one that gives a better spell. But it's up to you guys, um, especially for PvP, you know, it's definitely worth maybe getting two or three of these gears just so you can have different versions with different spells that you can get. Um, so yeah, that is the gear for my Myth level 160 character. Let me go ahead and show you the stats one more time. So yeah, that is his stats there guys. And if you guys want to know more about the gear he's wearing, um, check out the 160 Max Gear video. We go over for like an hour on where to get the gear, also the bosses on how to defeat them and their cheats. And there's also some time stamps in there so you can just skip through certain points of the video and only watch the points you really need. So go ahead and look at that and check it out and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.